Well, Food for Health Island, again, as I said, is a very unique organization because it combines the research efforts of universities and translates those scientific innovations into products and concepts and ingredients that are relevant for the market and the consumer needs. And it's very important that we have this bridging function between the universities and the fantastic science of the universities and the market needs that are represented through the four companies in Food for Health Island. And that, I think, is the, the key advantage that we have, that we can bring all these elements together in one organization. Because we have heard also today in the, con in the presentations that it's very important to combine a lot of different efforts. It's just not sufficient to have fantastic signs. You need to also be able to bring an ingredient into a good food formulation that is tasty. You need to understand the consumers. You need to understand the cost impact. You need to be able to produce it. All that is integrated in Food for Health Islands. It's, I think, basically three, and of course you can then also uh, always kind of uh, dive deep into that. The first one is world-class science. We have to be able to generate something that is really new to the world, so therefore we have to be able to patent our innovations. The second is that we understand the consumer and market insights. That's what our uh, industry partners bring into the equation. And the third is that we can build the network around these factors that allows us then all to bring all the elements that are important to be successful, that they're all coming together in this organization. We are now three years um, in existence, so we were founded three years ago. We are now so far that we have the first ingredients in human and animal studies, and we expect to be able to deliver something in the marketplace within the next uh, 12 to 18 months. And I think that's actually very fast if you look at uh, from scratch research, uh, to market launch, hopefully we can do that in four and a half to five years, which I think is a big um, um, advantage over the normal timeline, which may take you seven, eight or nine years. And I think that's the advantage of bringing all the competencies together in one center, work in parallel, work connected. And I think that is the advantage that we can offer um, to, the, to the industry and to the partners that are working with us. Yeah, I think that's definitely possible. At this point in time, Food for the Island is, is something which is really about Ireland, so four universities in Ireland, four dairy companies in Ireland. Uh, we have uh, health pillars around metabolic health, uh, infant nutrition, infection and immunity, and healthy aging. And I could foresee that in the future we may look into other areas as well, much more maybe around the carriers, you know, that take the functional food ingredients to the marketplace. We may look into entry nutrition in the future. And that may also request or require that we have additional universities joining in. I think the whole functional food market and food innovation is a global business. We need to work together on a global scale. We just want to try and show that we can do that in Ireland and make it successful in Ireland. Once we have proven the model, we will expand it definitely through international global corporations.